Placido Domingo has sung more uh, performances and leading roles at the Met than any singer uh, in history. And Maestro Levine has sung more, has conducted more. Uh, you sing while you conduct sometimes too. But you've, you've conducted more um, performances than any conductor in the history of the Met. And you have collaborated together um, almost 350 times, I think, with this performance of Nabucco. I'm sure you remember your, the first time you worked together uh, back in 71, right, was it? The first time we met, it was in San Francisco. And I, and I heard, they said, they said, who is this Maestro Levine? And Jimmy was doing his first Oscar. It was with Do Dorothy Kirsten. And, and I, in the first rehearsals, I realized already the, the potential of uh, this young kid. That's, uh, that's similar to the way it was for me. We're talking about somebody whose who's stylistic affinities, whose linguistic or hard work and affinity, whose range of uh, response to details and um, uh, every kind of, of challenge is r really, I think, unique. But what I have admired most of, um, of Jimmy, not only with our collaboration, but with uh, his uh, life dedicated to, to the Met, is, is that he really made uh, the level of the orchestra, the musical level of the company, it went to such a unbelievable zenith, you know, that um, and with uh, something new for the for the story of conductors. You know, I mean, when you will be thinking about great conductors, and you were thinking about Toscanini screaming to everybody, you know, just uh, and if today she will talk to a musician like this, some somebody will smash a cello in his head. I'm possible. Probably get, to, probably get to the human resources department. First. Exactly. <laughs> There's so, there, the art form is difficult enough. A mistake is not the end of the world, mm -hmm. and it and it disturbs me when people act as though it is. That human, they want us to to go up there and sweat blood and give our nerves, and then if something misfires or something isn't wonderful. Most opera lovers understand that, and they understand that in trying your best and in going for it, you can't keep everything calibrated always at the same time. The miracle is that you can control as much of it as you do. I think if you, if you go into a performance with the idea that you're going to be perfect, this is not an artistic concept. There, there's no such thing for an artist as perfect. I always say, it, and this is, I say it really totally honest, I know exactly in my mind how to sing, but I have never been able to do it the way. <laughs> I promise you, I promise you. I you come pretty close. Perfect. <laughs> With L, all the diminuendos, all the standard piano, everything, I know exactly, but I wish I was able to do it, you know. In any case, I'm happy. No, the way, uh, how long I have gone. <laughs> what, what is the, the, if you could say, the uh, secret to your longevity? Well, I, I, I don't know, but I think it has helped me something. You know, since I was a musician always, I'd, um, I sit at the piano and I was preparing my operas. I wonder how many hours of coaching I have, I have said. I, sit down at the piano, and I don't sing the opera most of the time until I know it. He didn't have to waste voice learning really? the yes. uh, music. And that's a, that's a yes. brain job, not a voice job. In, in speaking about uh, Nabucco, the, uh, this is an opera that you introduced to the new Met. In all your life, you've expanded the repertory with, with new pieces, whether they're contemporary works or, or, or lesser known classics. What makes Nabucco um, such an interesting piece for you to be conducting at this point in your career, would you say? The whole opera is one of those among a handful in which the uppermost issue is the relationship between inward legato moving material and phenomenally 
extroverted energetic material. It's one of these pieces that in which the energy is one of the main things. And that, that's so captivating in this piece. You, when you consider that he had over 25 masterpieces inside him still to come out, that makes this piece even more of a miracle. Well, listen, uh, thank you both so much. There, there are no two artists in the history of the Met who have played such an important role as the two of you, and I'm very appreciative of your spend, you. spending the time today. Thanks Great a lot. Keith. Mm -hmm. okay.